Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at linear regression with a Desmos graphing calculator. So we're going to answer the question, what is linear regression and how can I use technology to make predictions from scatter plots? So we've been talking about the line of best fit. Linear regression is a way to do that with a graphing calculator such as Desmos so that it is accurate and we don't have to freehand it. So whenever you do linear regression on the calculator, it is going to tell you a number for R. That is called the correlation coefficient. Let's talk about that a little bit. The correlation coefficient R for a set of data measures the sine and the strength of the correlation between the two variables. So it's going to tell you a lot about the relationship that is seen in the data. So the first thing is the sign. If it is, so it's going to be a number between negative 1 and positive 1. If it is a negative number, that means that it is generally going down. And if it is a positive number, that means it's generally going up. And then it's also going to tell us the strength of the correlation between the two variables. So if it's between negative 0.9 and negative 1, that means it is a very strong negative correlation. So it would be in a line pretty much going down. If it's between positive 0.9 and positive 1, that means it's going to be strong and going up. And then moderate would be between 0.9 and 0.7. Those are going to be a little bit farther apart, but you'll still be able to see the relationship, whether it's going up or down, positive or negative. And then anything below 0.7, we would consider that a weak relationship. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one down here, and then we'll look more at the equations in the calculator. It says match the graphs to the following correlation coefficients. So the first correlation coefficient that they give me is 0.92, positive 0.92. So I know it's going to be one of these graphs, and 0.92 is pretty strong, so I'm going to go with this one right here. This one would have a correlation of about 0 0.92. That is strong and positive. The next one is R equals negative 0 0.98. Well, the only graph that has a negative correlation or that's going down is this one right here. So this would be R equals negative 0 0.98. And then the last one, it makes sense that this would be 0 0.67 for that correlation coefficient. It is positive, our data is going up, but it is not as strong as this one right here. It's more moderate or even weak. Okay, now let's talk about linear regression and how to do that. It is the process of finding the line of best fit to model a set of bivariate data. And we're going to do linear regression on the calculator because it can be done more accurately with that. And we're going to be looking at it with Desmos today. So the first thing that you need to do is pull up the Desmos graphing calculator. You can go to this website right here, desmos.com slash graphing, or me on my iPad, I just have the Desmos graphing calculator app pulled up. And the first thing that we need to do is tell Desmos that we want a table. So we're just going to type table into this first line. Okay, and I'm just going to put some sample points in here some fake data. Okay. And if you notice, it plotted those points for me. So you can kind of get a visual of how the data is looking. So I've entered, I made a table and then I entered my data into the table. And then under the table, you're going to start a new line and you want to type this regression equation into Desmos. Notice y1 and x1 are going to match my table. That's, where, that's why I have the y1 and the x1 in my regression equation because that's what I have in my table up here. So it'll be y1 is about m x1 plus B. So it's basically slope intercept form. I just have X1 and Y1 to match my table to tell Desmos you're taking the data from that table. And then I have this about sign instead of an equal sign because it's not exact. And then it gives me all of these values right here. So my R value 
we're going to look at the r value, not the r squared value, it is about 0.96. So that means it's a strong positive correlation, which I can see those points were in a line and they're pretty close together. And then m would be my slope of 2, and then b would be my y intercept of 4.33. So just make sure whenever you're typing it in, if for some reason your table changed to x2 and then y2, you would need to change your regression equation to match that, y2 and x2. Okay, let's go ahead and do an example here. So I'm going to clear out what I did. Uh, it says the table shows the weight in pounds of an alligator at various weeks since it was born. So I need to put this data into Desmos. So I'm going to tell Desmos that I need a table and I'm going to enter this data in 0, 9, 18, 27, 34. Careful because Desmos auto populated 36, but it's really 34 in my data. 43 and then 49. Okay, now I'm going to enter the weight, which is 6, 8.6, 10, 13.6, 15, 17.2, and 19.8. And it's a good idea to double check that you entered the data in correctly because it's really easy to make typos with all you have to type in double checked and it looks good to me. So now I am ready to type in that regression equation. I had x1 and y1 in my table, so that's what I'm going to use in my equation. y1 is about m x1 plus b. Okay, and here is all of my information about this data. So the first thing that the problem's asking me is what is the correlation coefficient and what does it mean? R is 0 0.995. It's 0 0.995. So it is a positive R value. So that means they have a positive correlation. And then 0.995 is very close to 1, so it is a positive and strong correlation. That means that our line of best fit is going to be very accurate. Which the next, the next problem is asking us for the equation for the line of best fit. I'm going to go ahead and round to the nearest hundredth here. So it'll be y equals 0.27x because Desmos told me m, my slope was 0.27, plus my y-intercept of 5.82. Okay, so now we have the line of best fit. I didn't have to draw a trend line or use two points to calculate it or anything. The graphing calculator found it for me. And now I can use this line of best fit to predict how much the alligator will weigh after 60 weeks. So 60 weeks... That means that x is going to be 60. So I'm going to substitute 60 in for x into the equation, and that will tell me how much the alligator weighs after 60 weeks. So it'll be y equals 0 0.27 times 60 plus 5.82. So 0.27 times 60 plus 5.82 will tell me how much the alligator weighs, which is 22.02 pounds. All right, let's look at one more example. It says the table shows the number of department stores in the United States since 2016. So I need to enter this data into Desmos so that it can tell me the correlation coefficient and the line of best fit, but I'm gonna do some adjusting first. Since it says since 2016, I want my y-intercept to reflect that that is the starting point, 2016. So 2016 is zero years since 2016. I'm gonna change that to a zero. And then 2017 is one year since 2016. 2018 is two years, 2019 is three years, and 2020 is four years. So I am changing those years to zero through four so that it reflects this since 2016. And then like I said, that's going to get me a y-intercept that more closely reflects this situation. 
Okay, now that I've adjusted that, I'm ready to enter this information into Desmos. So I typed table, and then I'm going to type this data in. So in 2016, there were 7,930, 7,651, 7,466, 7,163, and 6,297 in 2020. Okay, so my data is inputted. I'm just gonna double check really quick that it's correct, which it looks like it is, and now I'm going to type in the regression equation, make sure I have x1 and y1. I do, so it'll be y1 is about mx1 plus b. And here is all of my information. My correlation coefficient, make sure you're looking at r and not r squared, is negative 0 0.947. So that means I have a negative correlation and it is strong since it's between that negative 0.9 and 0.1. Okay, so now we are ready to write the equation for the line of best fit. I just need to look at the slope and the y-intercept from Desmos. So my equation for the line of best fit will be y equals, Desmos is telling me m, the slope is negative 375.4, and then x, Plus, Desmos is telling me the y-intercept is 8,052.2. Okay, then part C says predict how many department stores there will be in 2022. Remember, we are dealing with years since 2016. So I need to do 2022 minus 2016 to figure out the years since 2016, which is 6. That's what I'm going to substitute in for x into my equation since years was x. So to find the number of department stores since 2022, I'll do negative 375.4 times 6 plus 8,052. So let's type that into Desmos, negative 375.4 times 6 plus 8,052, and I get 5,799.6, which I will round that to about 5,800 department stores. Okay, then this last question says, what year would you expect there to be 4,000 department stores left? So this time they did not give me X, they gave me Y. So I'm going to replace Y in my equation with 4,000 and then solve for X and that will tell me the years since 2016. So 4,000 equals negative 375.4 X plus 8,052.2, and now I'm gonna solve this equation for x. So the first thing I'm gonna do is subtract 8,052.2, and 4,000 minus 8,052.2 is negative 4,052.2, and that equals negative 375.4x. And then I'm gonna divide by negative 375.4, and that will tell me the year since 2016, where there will be 4,000 department stores left. So negative 4,052.2 divided by negative 375.5, is 10.79, which I'm going to round to about 11 years. So I have to do 2016 plus 11 to figure out what year that will be that there are 4,000 department stores left. So that would be 
2027.